Hi everyone, today we're diving into the world of Cuisinaire Rods, an incredibly versatile mass resource that can be used to explore everything from number recognition to problem solving. If you're looking for a tool that's hands-on and supports a wide range of concepts across the early years, year one and year two, then Cuisinaire Rods are a fantastic option. So what are Cuisinaire rods? These are coloured rods of varying lengths, each with a colour representing a different value. They're great for visualising maths concepts, spotting patterns and helping children make connections between numbers. Let's start with the early years, where we can first introduce Cuisinaire rods and how they can be used to introduce size comparison, which can lead into understanding sizes of number all through hands-on exploration. First up with the early years, we're going to allow them to just explore with the rods, see what they do with them, picking them up, looking at the different sizes, they might start to talk about number with them. Then a really nice activity to introduce to them is through storytelling, Goldilocks and the three bears. So you're going to ask children to choose their baby bear, their mummy bear and their daddy bear and they'll explore with which one they want to use and that is okay as long as they are exploring that size comparison. Then as you read the story of the Goldilocks and the three bears, then they're going to hold up each of their characters as you read the story. And this is going to really help them explore that comparison of size, but also it will begin to relate into the comparison of the size of numbers. Moving into year one, Cuisinaire rods are brilliant for exploring number bonds to 10, a key concept in the national curriculum for building fluency with numbers. Moving into year one, we're now gonna use the Cuisinaire rods to help us with our number bonds to 10. So what you wanna do first is provide children with their number 10 rod and then ask them to explore two parts that can make 10. So for example, they might take the brown one and the red one that can represent our eight and our two. As the year one children experiment with all the different ways they can make 10 with two parts, we're gonna use the part, part, whole diagram to help them with it. So placing our hole at the top and showing their two parts. Now a really good tip is to then get them to think about if we pose the question, what would happen if I switch my two parts round and getting them to understand that it doesn't matter which way round our parts go, they are still going to make that whole of 10. As an extension to this, now we can get children to explore more than two parts that make the 10. So this time we're going to ask them to explore three ways that we can make 10. So for example, they may keep their brown as our eight and then split down into our two ones and then get them to explore, putting that into our parts, all whilst making sure we're using that language of eight is part, one is a part, one is a part, and 10 is our whole. In year one, Cuisinaire rods really shine for visualizing and finding fat families within 10. So next up, we're going to explore fact families with our Cuisinaire rods. Taking our number bonds with our 10 as our whole, our 8 as a part, 2 as a part. So we're going to look at first addition, and it's quite useful to provide children first with a template like this, and then they can move into recording it fully on their own. So we can look at 2, add 8, equals 10. And then we've already explored it the opposite way round and we know it's still the same. So eight, add two equals 10. Now we're gonna explore our subtraction. So if we've got 10 and we take two away, we're left with our eight. And then if we look at it the other way round, we've got our 10. We're gonna take away our eight and we're left with our two. Extend this activity by then looking at word problems and relating them to real life. So we can take the idea of being in the bakery with some cakes. So someone had 10 cakes in the bakery and another person came along and bought eight of them. And how many did we have left? So using the rods for this 
and modelling these problems helps children develop the problem solving skills while building that confidence with calculations in a visual representation. And that's how you can use your quiz and air rods to support maths learning across early years and year one. From exploring numbers and lengths to mastering number bonds and solving number problems, these rods are a versatile and engaging tool that makes maths come alive for your pupils. Having an early experience of quiz and air rods will support independence in accessing and using them into key stage two to solve more complex problems.